Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of J-Bro. Today, we're doing something different. We want to show you guys what an average person in New York City pays for their rent. So let's go find a random person on the streets and see if they're willing to give us a little home tour. Hey, excuse me, sir. Do you speak English? A little bit? Can I see your home? So, what do you do for a living? Okay, I've never met this guy in my life, but he's willing to show me his house. So let's go. Sir? Come on in. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Are we done with the role play? <laughs> I don't know the role play, do you? Oh, yeah, I yeah, role play. Oh, do you? I role play hard. Okay. <laughs> this is a very nice home you have here. Thank you, come on in, let me give you the full tour. Okay, first of all, can you, can you introduce yourself? Sure, my name is John. I am Jason's best friend, and I am a dentist. Oh, before we continue, can I ask how much you pay for rent? I pay 35, how much is it? 35.40. <laughs> <laughs> 35.40. Oh, nice. This seems like a really pretty bachelor pad. Oh, I appreciate you think of it that way. Yeah, yeah. And let me show you my living space. Okay, yeah. Come on in. Would you like a drink? Uh, I already had a drink before we came. Oh yeah? Yeah. I wanted to show you my bar. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in that case, yes. This fridge is a relic from Koreatown. I oh. brought it over here from my old apartment. Yes. And it's always stocked. I got some variety here. Some healthy things and some relatively unhealthy oh, things as well. Very classy. Very cla uh, Chindo, classy. Yes, Chindo. Classy. I see that you even have kombucha. Mm -hmm. That is, I never expected you to drink kombucha. I, it's for my guests. <laughs> I, don't I, I yeah. see, okay. <laughs> and up here, my slowly growing collection mm. of good alcohol. Yes, can I take a look? Yeah, oh, you got some Macallan 18 here. This is Macallan 18 from 1995. Wow. So you can't even buy this anymore. What year were you born, doctor? 91. So this thing is almost as old as I am. You got nice whiskey glasses here. These little things yeah. I start to care more about. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, but these fine. Well, that's what it is. Is it? <laughs> that's what is it is. It? Okay. <laughs> But I'm appreciating little things that make me feel yeah. some way. So anyways, I'm dabbling in learning a little bit more about whiskey and wine. So yeah, that's a little bit about the, the bar section. And you can take your drink. Let's say that there's something in here. Okay. And then you come over to my okay. very- Can I have some Kellen 18? Yeah, you Okay. Want? Yeah, sure. Nope. Can you show us your workspace? Yeah, so I did some research on some desk setups. I prefer to be clean. Mm. If I'm home, I'm on this chair for like 99% of my mm. time. I, I love this uh, white on white on white. <laughs> this is my dog and this is my child. Her name is Jasonica. Jasonica? And this dog is symbolic for a dog that I want to get in the future. Okay. Can you show us your bathroom? Oh yeah. Oh, you know what I love about this apartment? Ooh. The bathroom's nice. I love these patterns. The bathroom's nice. Yeah, I would love to get naked in here. <laughs> it's all you, bro. I'm not gonna be in here, though. I come in here all undressed. Mm. I would look at myself in the mirror and just like... Oh, it does feel nice. Yeah, yeah. I take a lot of baths in here. You know, what's, you know what I started using, bro? What is it? What is that? Bath bubbles. Oh, bath bubbles. This smell this. But you, you use it, it just looks like, oh, you use it. Oh, did you use it by yourself? I use, of course. <laughs> I use a cocoa shea butter. Ooh, it oh, nice. I see. I, oh, it smells yeah. nice. It smells nice. I love, I love this, um, this faucet here. Oh yeah, it's great. It's vintage. Can, John, can you um, show us how to shower in this bathroom? Let's put your pants down first. Oh, okay. Yeah. You should do um, how I groom myself routine. Oh, I got everything here, bro. Oh, not today, not today. This is this is for your only friends. Oh, my only yeah. friends. Only friends. Porn up. Okay. Uh, so wait, can I, I have another question. Yes, sir. So where's your bedroom? I don't sleep, bro. Oh, you don't sleep. Sleep is full. Oh, you're a robot. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Something's wrong with you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this is kind of cool. I only knew about it because Jason told me. Which is my bed. It's on this wall. 
Oh, wow, your bed is hiding inside the wall. Check it out. Boom. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. You look like a millionaire. Come on in. I don't think a millionaire would, uh, would have a Murphy bed, but <laughs> you're welcome to join me. If you're a sexy millionaire, you've got the best boyfriend. Yes, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> Central Park, a little piece of New York City with me. I see. And um, I chose this to go with the other. I mean, I didn't want to black. The color, color coordination mm -hmm. is on point, sir. Uh, you know what yes. they say on TV Cribs? Oh, what is it? It's where the magic happens. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Thank you. Thank you. So what's your body count here? <laughs> Stop asking me about my body count. Come on. No, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's for my only friends only. But I will say, having privacy, it's the best part. Mm. And then another best part of living by yourself, mm. freedom. True, true. Freedom. That comes with the personal space. Yeah. It's or true. Not I, once. I walk around naked sometimes. Yeah, exactly. No one's gonna say anything. Yeah. Can you just do that right now? Right now? Yeah, no one's gonna say anything. Oh, the moment I walk in. Oh, really? I'm done. Oh, thanks. Nah, I just hop in the shower. Oh, okay. <laughs> First of all, I love this island here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's very fitting given the, uh, the limited space in terms of width. Oh, exactly. That's yeah. exactly what I was, uh, was going for. Was Can you quickly go to the kitchen? Sir? Oh, okay. So kitchen, very important part. I eat a lot of meals in mm. home. I'm not a good cook. You know that. Yeah. But I cook for myself. Mm. I cook nutritionally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's kind of an excuse for not making good food. Yeah. I got no excuses now. I have a space, I have a, you know. One thing for sure, you yeah. do have nice kitchen equipment. So you got a nice cutlery set here. Mm. And what are those? Dude, I'm glad you asked. Who are you? Who are you? Hey, oh, wow. I'm amazed right now. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I do have some stuff I could learn with. You know what the hard part is? I don't think I have a good palate. Like, I don't pick up on, like, taste that well. I see. My dad's kind of like me, but my mom and my brother, they'll pick up on, like, little tastes here and there. They'll be yeah. like, oh, I wish this were this. Me and my mm, dad would just eat it. Just eat it. like, oh, it's mom. So when I cook, I have a hard time, like, critiquing myself. Mm. So I just assume it's not good. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I, could learn, I could learn a few things. Yeah, yeah, no, once you're married and when, maybe when you have kids or something. Oh, uh, I'm looking forward to learning how to cook with my uh, girlfriend. This perfect space to do it, actually. Like, you have so much room for, like, two people. Yeah, yeah. Cooking for my lady. Ah. Oh, you, you want to be that yo sang nam. Yo sang nam? Yori han sexy namja. It's hot, it's hot. Yeah. Even when I see another like, guy do it, it's like, damn, that's attractive. Mm. I would love to be able to do that. Yeah. Uh, not speaking from experience, but you know. Dude, you do that all the time. <laughs> I've heard that this framing here, uh, when you're cooking, the guy's uh, cooking and the girl's just kind of watching you. Oh, because you're being cared for. It's like, supposed to be really like sexy. Even other yeah. gender. Like even when I watch a girl do that. Yeah, why is it's that? Sexy too. Why it, is that? It's not just that act itself. You start to like envision like um, different things, like future. Mm -hmm. It's like this man can feed me. Or uh, take care of my family, yeah, yeah, yeah. things like that. It's yeah, like yeah. the act of doing that, right? This man can just put in good stuff in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so my fridge is very simple. Healthy, nutritious, easy. Nice. There's something that you might not try here. Which is? Made it to you. Sent by our friends at Made. Oh, okay. And the sponsor of this video. Can I try it? Of course. So Jason, I'm excited to show you the made products. Ooh. There's four soy milk and two oats. We're gonna start with my favorite, which is the black soy. Ooh, fancy. May I? Yes. Mmm. It's not only delicious, the best part is that it's healthy. Nine grams of protein and no added sugar. Oh really? Because it was very sweet. The sweetness comes from brown rice and persimmon concentrates. It's actually not oh, that's sugar. fancy, yo. Yeah, I did some research. <laughs> okay. Here's the next one. 99.9% .9 soy milk, 0.1% salt. 90 calories. Ooh. That's it. Okay. There's nothing else in it. So this, this is pure. It's pure soy. It's pure like me. Mmm. Oh, that's smooth. That's smooth as this here is the soy milk original, made up of five different roasted grains. A great source of dietary fiber, and it tastes like inzaimi, the Korean traditional rice cake. I actually think that you're gonna like this one the most. You're right. This is like rice cake in a form of drink. It's, it's very, very nutty. Number four, chocolate lovers can rejoice because there's a chocolate soy milk. That tastes very, very, very chocolatey. <laughs> Is it too sweet or just around the sweetness? For a chocolate lover, this is perfect. Mm. Yeah. 
Okay, Jason, let me blow your mind. I want you to try these two next. Vegan oat drinks, oats from Finland. Oh, European. Yeah, yeah, fancy boy. Ooh, I like that. The original has only 2.5 grams, the unsweetened has 1.5. So, low sugar anyway. Goes really well with your morning coffee, kickstart your day. So yeah, those are the Mayo products. You can check them out at HSmart, or you can buy them online to deliver it. And if you're in Manhattan, they deliver to your door. Oh. Should we, um... Should we kiss? That's, I was gonna say that. <laughs> you took the worst vibe out of my mouth. I think this is one of the coolest things that I have in my apartment. I don't have that many things, but this is definitely the coolest one. Who is it? A, a vinyl it's a, player? Yes, it's a vinyl record player. And I have some of these classic albums. This baby, he's yeah. grown up now, right? Tried to sue Nirvana and lost for using the... For his picture? Yeah. Oh. Can you believe that? Frank Sinatra, classic. Frank Sinatra and a record player yes. with whiskey. That's so New York. That's so New York. <laughs> That's so you, sir. That's so, you. so New York. Nice TV. I actually don't watch much TV. I think I turned this on maybe four times. Oh, okay. Have you Six. seen any good K dramas lately? Uh, I have. Which one do you watch? Have you seen The Golden Spoon? No. It's Golden on Bob. Disney Plus. You know you made it when you have this room in your house. What? Which is? You ready for this? Is it a dungeon? Come on. Okay. Oh! Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the reaction I get. Hey! Start from the bottom. Look at you. Now we're here. Yeah. I look at you differently now. Yeah. In New York City, this is. It is a luxury. Ultimate flex. It is a luxury. Yeah, so you could say I made it. You know, a lot of schooling for this. Yeah. But uh, ultimately. You hustle it hard. You work hard, you get nice things. You work hard, you, you can wash your clothes at home. I mean, I couldn't have said it any better. Yeah. Okay, what, what, where are we going next, sir? This is where I defeat all guests in ping pong. The loser, the loser has to DM someone on a date. Do you also play pool? I play pool. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what is so far? Oh, one. Oh. We got one, we got one. Solid, yeah. solid. All right, you got it, you got it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Woo, cha-ching. So it gets really pretty around sunset. Right now, oh, it's getting a little Ooh. darker. Uh, it's not pretty yet, right? Oh, it's pretty. Do you see all the people up there? Do you where? know what that is? What's that? That's the edge. Oh, yeah. The oh. Instagram place. Mm. Where it merges, and then I you see. see the entire Midtown skyline. Okay. Can you explain to us that famous sign? That is the famous New Yorker Hotel. Yeah. The iconic sign. Yeah, just a cool place to hang out. I can't wait till it gets a little bit warmer mm. in the springtime, where we can like cook barbecue and, and host, cook? host some people. I, I can grill. Okay. I can grill. All right. That's not uh, I'll be I'll be looking forward to that. Oh, yeah, okay. It's on camera, so right, I'm, gonna, right. I'm gonna call you out. Yeah, I'll vlog it. I'm gonna call you out. Okay, I'll vlog it. <laughs> we better have a barbecue every week. Okay. But at nighttime, when it gets a little bit darker, all the lights come on. Oh, okay. It's gorgeous. A couple weeks ago, um, I hosted my parents mm. for the first time, like living by myself. Yeah, yeah. Shot them around Hudson Yards, yeah, and then yeah. we came here. They loved it, right? I think it was like very sentimental for my mom, actually. Really? Yeah, because she doesn't. She doesn't even like New York City. Oh. She came out just to hang out because I asked her to. Yeah, yeah. When we oh. hung out up here, it was me, my dad, and my mom. Yeah, yeah. And it was after like a really nice dinner. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, don't weep, oh, And it was like a very like wholesome moment. That's so touching. I think she felt like her son was finally growing up. Like everything's coming around full circles. That, look, that building over there looks familiar. <laughs> Which one? Right in, right in front of us. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me. So Jason, what is that building, dude? So this is where it all began. This is where I used, used to live and that's where uh, John and I made videos on the weekend. I slept on your futon. Yeah, yeah. For a year. Yeah. So like, funny story. I, I looked at the space uh, when I was looking for houses at the time. Yeah. It was too expensive for me. So I, I chose that one instead. And then now I'm here. It, it was funny. We, we would look out the window. We would we, see this roof. Exactly. So we'd be like, dude, it'd be so dope to live there. <laughs> yeah. But here we are. Yeah. It's become like a sentimental vlog. It is, it is. Back when I first lived here, yeah. all these buildings, tall building structures, didn't exist. Didn't exist. <laughs> that That's crazy. crazy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it was 2017. You came here before Hudson Yards was cool? Yeah. yeah. Before like all this it's skyscrapers, all like this thing was not there. This building, crazy. this crazy. gigantic building. This YouTube channel documented pretty much our like late 20s. Mm. And to see where we started yeah. over there, that's crazy. Living in a one bedroom flex where you were sleeping on the couch uh, <laughs> on the weekends and now we're living on our own. They say that you have to go through those things. I, 
I want to say it's actually a hardship. It's not a hardship. There's there's plenty of people who went through yeah, much harder things. Yeah, much harder things. things. Yeah. But I think we appreciate what we have. Yeah, yeah. On a it, daily basis. it was a natural progression and it was like development of our, you know, life. <laughs> it feels great. It feels great. I'm, I'm grateful. Yeah, uh, stay tuned for Jason's apartment. It's much more impressive than mine. It is. <laughs> uh, it is. Maybe, I don't know. It's it really is. Nice, yeah. He even hosts parties. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a host now. You're like Great Gatsby. <laughs> I have balls, you know, with balls like. Like balls, like dances. I host balls, you I know. Like, you didn't have balls before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if you have um, balls or you don't have balls, please like this video. Yes. Comment a milestone in your life that you're proud of. Oh, that's a good one. Stay tuned for more podcasts as well. We're excited to get back on board with that. Yes. And um, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Yes. And uh, thank you guys. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Peace. Bye.